bought a 90s Pokemon card shop. Let me explain. A while back, I purchased a vintage Pokemon card collection. And the person I purchased it off used to run a Pokemon card club and a Pokemon card store. All right, I made it here, finally. I've got all the stuff here, look. Look at all of this. And right here, we've got the Pokemon Professor. This is the main man who started it all. So essentially, once a week, the local community center held a night where people can go and play Pokemon cards, collect Pokemon cards. We also used to play Beyblade and Smash Brothers, which was sick. But essentially, in the collection that I bought were these folders right here. And these folders are the original folders that they would sell singles from. So as you can see, each folder's got a different set to it. And these are the, like, the singles that they sold. I've never gone through these, or I haven't gone through these. Uh, so I thought I'd do it in this video because these also have the original prices. So we can see what the prices were back then compared to the prices now, okay? All right, let's start with Neo, okay? What do we have? 20p, 20p. Obviously, those who are watching it from the US right now, P is our pence, so it's your, you know, version of cents. So here we go, we got Caterpie, Dunsparce, Hoppip. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Obviously, I know these are just commons, guys, but there might be some surprises in here, we don't even know. Okay, 40p now, we're starting to get up to the, uh, oh, the uncommons, okay? So the uncommons are 40p, you got the EV, Eagly Buff. First edition, we got a first edition Scyther right there. Ooh, ooh, we got some rares right here. Houndoom, two pounds for the Houndoom. Is that, wait, is that hollow? Okay, no, it's, it's a, it's a non-hollow. The sleeve is absolutely battered, but you know what? The card inside that is actually, it's actually quite clean, you know? I'm putting that into a new sleeve. I'm re-sleeving it, baby. Wait, no way. No way, three pounds, that's a hollow. Three pounds, we've got a hollow, guys. I found a hollow. I found a hazard. And as you can see, guys, three pounds 50 for a hollow. An awesome swirl there as well. You know what, I might have to send this to Ace. Ace grade and we got a vintage card. Let's re-sleeve this and let's check the condition. Oh, print lines. We can see print lines, but not many scratches though. Just, just print lines, you know, which is actually quite common with Neo sets. Sleeve that up again and take a look at the back. The back's quite, it's not bad, you know. To say he's been sat in his binder for all those years, it's not that bad. All right, I'm gonna put it back into the binder just because I wanna kind of keep these how I found them, but I will be taking some of these out. Oh, bro, I really wanna know what the £4.50 was. I really wanna know what the £4.50 was right there. I can't believe I found a hollow in here, no way. So I did come through here and actually grade quite a lot of the, uh, the hollows when I first kind of bought the collection, but I didn't really pay too much attention, just kind of sift through. I didn't look at the prices and stuff, so now it's a good time to take, you know, note of this and see what it's like. Okay, first banner done. Neo Genesis, my favorite set. If you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know that. Commons 20p or as price. Wait, it's first edition. First edition Chikorita, first edition Cyndaquil. Okay, these aren't sleeved, these aren't sleeved. So let's have a look at the condition. Not bad at all, that's not even sleeved. I'm pretty sure like at one point, Gemin 10 copies of these cards were going for like in the hundreds, you know, and they just sat here as 20p. I mean, Pikachu, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna look this up real quick. The last sold Pikachu, in a Gem Mint 10, sold for $161, $161. Now listen, I'm not saying it's a Gem Mint 10 at all. I'm just saying for 20p, and even if you get 20 quid out of this, you know, in a, in a graded card, I mean, you've, you've done well, you know. It's crazy how far Pokemon has come, guys. I'm trying to find the rares. Where the rares at, baby? Red Trainer, 75p. 150 for the Murkrow? Oh, it's a rare. Yeah, I forgot Murkrow is a rare in this set. Oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack. Look, okay, so this must be the security reasons. The cards displayed are photocopies. Please ask if you actual card. Oh no. Can you imagine if all these were real? Oh my goodness. Seven pound fifty, guys. Seven pound fifty for the Lou Gear. Hollow from Neo Genesis. 5.59 for the Feraligator. 4.50 for the Meganium, which I believe is like a pop 10 in you know, PSA 10. Wait, hold on. We found a real one. Four pounds fifty Togetic. No way. Another swirl. Okay, this one doesn't look too. Actually, hold on. It's not bad, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Look at that. Look at that. That's definitely because it's been sat in a binder for all these years. But no way. Four fifty for this Togetic. I mean, I'm not sure what it's priced at now these days. But this is sick. I can't believe we're finding hollows, guys. Jim Hero is next up. Goodness me. Look at how bad this is. We got a Blaine's Charmander. Twenty p, guys. Twenty p for all these cards on the screen. Sand True, Vulpix, Growlithe. Shout out to Simon. Man, this is so sick to just scroll through. I feel like a lot of people have bought binder collections before. You guys might have bought some binder collections from eBay, but this is just a different perspective because it's not like a full set. It's more like a for sale set, you know? It's like a single card binder at a store, you know? 20p for some trainers. So you've got to build a deck, you can get some trainers. Rares again, we're getting into the rares now. Rock Sand Slash. Every time I see a gap, I'm just thinking what was in that gap, you know? I really would like to know. £3.90 for the Bloins Moltres. Here's a close look at the prices, guys. £2.90, £2.90, £2.90, £2.90, £2.90, no way, no way. The question is, are we going to find any actual real cards in this one? This time around, no. 290 for the Sabrina's Gengar, guys. I repeat, 290 for Sabrina's Gengar. Take me back. And the fun thing is, I actually went to this Pokemon club. So I actually went to this. It feels so cool to, to you know, make this purchase. Shout out to, you know, the Pokemon professor for selling me this way back when. Japanese, we got base, series one, jungle series two, and fossil series three. Japanese base. 
I wonder if there's any no rarity in here. No rarity is a really rare, <laughs> funnily enough, print of the Japanese base set. Charmander right here. 20p for your Japanese base. 50p. Ooh, for the uh, for the rares is this? Oh, the uncommons. We got uh, RK9. This is so cool, man. Squirtle, Ivysaur, Beedrill. Shout out Ethan Bazinga. Congratulations, by the way, on the gender reveal of your, your child. I'll not spoil it here. You guys can go find that on the uh, official video or Instagram or whatever. No way. No way. Charizard, £19.50. So even back then, they knew that Charizard was the card to get. But even still, £19.50 for the hollow Charizard from base, Japanese base. £9.90 for Black. Blastoise, 690 for Mewtwo, 890 for Venusaur. I feel like they still price these quite obviously it's quite cheap, you know, compared to what they are now, but I feel like they priced them well. They knew which cards were the the, the hot ones, you know, Alakazam, a popular one, of course, as well. But again, for security reasons, the cards displayed our photocopies. Imagine if we had them in here, actually in here. There have been some surprises though, so I wonder what we can find. We've got Japanese jungle as well. Nice, nice. Three pound for the Japanese hollows. No way. Alright, where's the sneaky hollow? I feel like there's always a sneaky hollow in one of these binders. Where is it? We got a fossil here. 490 for the Dragonite. 350 for Lapras. Look at these prices, guys. All right, what's this? Unknown binder. Mystery binder. Ooh, mystery. <laughs> Ooh, gym. Okay, gym. Oh, wait, hold on. This is everything. Gym challenge. Gym heroes. Base set two. Fossil. Fire red leaf green. Is that? No way, man. Look at all this. It just goes on and on. This is just a random assortment of cards, man. Eevee from Jungle. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, no prices in this one. No surprises either, but that's a cool little binder there. Gym challenge. Let's go. Gym challenge. Blaine's Growl. You know, I might have to get one of these for Simon. Just send him some Growlithe cards. Or send them to Ace Graden first. If you guys want to get your cards graded, of course, acegraden.com is a place to be. Really proud of Ace Graden. It's really starting to mature nicely. And a lot of things in the pipeline being worked on as well. So we've got a bright future for Ace. It's not, it's not been easy. Let me tell you that, but... Definitely proud. Eevee, Lieutenant Surge's Eevee, let's go. Sabrina's Hypno, Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Oh, nice, I've kind of set this out into types. Oh, no, no, sorry, alphabetical order. It's just, it's just alphabetical order. The rares here, £1.50. Trainer's 20p. Blaine's Growl with 390. Blaine's Charizard, 650. What? What? Oh, here we go. Wait, this has quantity on it. This has quantity. Dragonair, two in stock. Bro, Fero, three in stock for three pounds. You could have just bought three for nine quid. <laughs> no way. Rocks Nine Tails, four of them for three ninety each. Man, um, take me back. If only I knew. If only I knew, guys. If only I knew when I was a kid that it, <laughs> it would turn out like this. All right, guys. So this is the last binder that I've gone through. However, we do have many more boxes. So when I made this purchase, I went through a lot of the hollows, went through a lot of the main collection binders, went through these briefly, but didn't really take too much of a look. Leave a like on this video and comment down below if you want me to make make another video of, as part of this collection where I go through a box. I can see a box set next to me of just hundreds and hundreds of common, uncommon, maybe rares, maybe hollow cards. So leave a like if you want me to dive through a mystery collection as part of the big purchase that I made last year. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this different style of content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty more videos coming. And yeah, take care guys and peace.